what's up what's up everybody this is your boy chris reed beats back with another video we are live streaming i gotta turn off my volume on my phone here as i am doing some monitoring but welcome what's up everybody what's good what's good I was contemplating if i was gonna uh keep this keep the stream 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 streak or what what do we call it just uh <laughs> like the stream marathon just keeping it going or, or what um but i was like yeah man we gotta we gotta get up in here if we got the time if we got the time we got the we got the we got to get up in here anyway all right boom so today uh i'm actually gonna make some beats i'm gonna do some talking i'm gonna hang out with you guys for as long as i have to hang out with you guys but of course like this is probably gonna be like primary way of me making content for the channel uh, because like sitting down to record videos is getting harder and harder to do but live streaming is like man i can live stream at the drop of a dime and be ready to go to chat and to talk and to make music with you guys so um really just excited to be able to jump on and and, and holla at y'all for a minute and yes mr frosty beats is in the building welcome mr frosty beats we got a few little sound effects that we cooked up I'm thinking about adding some more sound effects. I'm thinking about adding, I don't know, some kind of little something to happen. DM is up in here as well. Welcome DM. We are live and direct. That's right, man. Live and direct. So we got Mr. Frosty Beats up in here. Now, Mr. Frosty Beats just dropped some really cool news. And I want to just kind of chat with my brother real quick. So, Frosty, what is it that you created? This plugin that you created, congratulations to you for creating your first plugin. What is it? What's it, you know, what can you tell us about it? What is it gonna be able to do? What is it, man? You know what I'm saying? Give us some, give us some information so we know what we're working with here with your new device. Now I also have going in the poll, um, what do you do when it comes time to start your music? So not talking about templates, not talking about uh you know like your actual setup but like when it's time to make music like what actually gets you inspired to get started is it the drums like what do you want to start with is it the drums is it a melody is it chords or is it something else like as i was thinking of that question i was thinking like i think some people start with structure like before they even have a full beat idea or like something that they know they want to do they kind of just go in with the structure like well i know i want to have a build up and then I want to have a drop and then I want to have like I think some people might actually start like that. So they start pacing it out, you know, a certain way, like as they're doing their chords, they're doing their chords like that. Like oh, I want to have an intro. I want to have a hook. I want to have a pre bridge, you know, a pre chorus and I want to have a bridge. So it's like, OK, while we're making our chord progression, let's also think about our chord change as we're thinking about our chord progression. So I'm just curious as to what you guys are selecting as your beat starters. Right now we have 50%, looks like 50% for chords and 25% drums and 25% something else. So those that selected something else, let me know what the something else is. All right, so that's enough time to give Mr. Frosty Beats a chance to chat what the plugin is. It says it's a gain fader. It looks like a gray box with a slider in it. It's a gain fader. Um, so are you saying like it adds gain or is it like just a fader? Like just so you can, you know, like like a fader in reason or is it actually like gain? For example, let's switch over to, no, not that one. No, not that one. Let's switch over to reason real quick. One thing that I've been, uh, I did not know that I needed or like would like or enjoy is this gain from kilohertz because all it does is just give you just a little more gain. And I know like there's other ways that you could implement that because because you could implement that with, you know, a compressor or maximizer or you could like, you know, just turn up all of the volumes you master volume the levels and you know but all of that stuff and even even the game uh in your mixer section as well right you could also let me see make sure this still works you could also go up here to your input game you know up here at the top you could do that too but as a as a effect you know in your rack i like that so sounds like it's yes a lot like the kilohertz game that's super dope man because guess what you did it 
I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So shout outs to you. I couldn't tell you what the first, second, third, or last thing you would do to even create, you know, like kilohertz gain, let alone what your gain plugin is gonna look like. So shout outs to you. I, I am supposed to pass a message on to you. Um, I'm, I can't remember exactly who it's from, but um, they said they would be, I think it was, I think it was King Willie said they would be uh, more than honored and ecstatic to be the first person to purchase any plugin that you create. So, you know, if you get that packaged and ready to go, you already got your first customer, man. So he's definitely willing to support and, um, you know, help you out with that. So now, nah, man, I think that's super cool. Like, you know, programming and everything <laughs> like he's like oh let's go exactly programming and everything that goes into that like i don't know what it would take i think that's exciting and and like you know i think um a lot of times like we can get creative and we can get like oh man well i started this i'm gonna go do this and do it like hey like just just work on that game and then like as soon as you can get it ready to go you know we could test it you know what i'm saying and we can pull it up because that's interesting like to see the plugins that can be loaded up by these different audio, you know, uh, softwares and to be able to see a plugin that you created inside of reason. I think that would be super dope. I think that would be super dope, super dope. All right. So if I had to answer the question of what I start with, man, I think I start with a feeling first. I think I start with a feeling like I need to like get a feeling of something going. And sometimes it really just depends on what I'm in the mood for that day with like what feeling I'm getting going. Uh, let me say this too, while we are getting started with this beat. If you're here and you haven't said anything in the chat, man, come on, man. We want to rec we want to recognize you, okay? We want to welcome you to the live stream. So make sure that you actually drop something in the chat so that we know that you're there. You know, don't just be a lurker, just lurking by, because I can see how many people are alive, and it's only DM and Mr. Frosty Beast chatting with me right now. All right, so we want to welcome you to the stream as well. Uh, so make sure that you do that. Look at that. See, soon as I said it, Jr. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream. All right. So um, with that, I've been working on some different chords and stuff. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to chord sequencer, right? But I'm not. I'm going to go to chord sequencer and then I'm going to make an empty set. OK, I'm going to make an empty set because I want to see what these chords are that I'm playing. I want to see what they're called and I want to set them up. DJ Steez. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, my good friend. All right. So thank you for, you know, what I'm saying jumping in here with us. We appreciate you. And I put the call out and look at that. Now we now we got some now we got some action happening. Now we got some action happening. Now, let me see if I got one of these. I don't think I have one set up where you can see me and reason. Or maybe I did and I just turned something off. Who knows? Reset. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. So I'm going to be playing some of these chords that I've been playing around with. And uh, I'm going to be playing around with these chords just so that we can kind of see uh, what these names of these chords are. And I could like guesstimate, I guess I could guess and say, oh, yeah, it's a this, this, that, this, that chord. But I don't want to do that. I kind of want to just I want to just use chord sequencer to see what it is. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. All right, cool. So we just uh, drop this in right here. Word up. You're an inspiration to us, bro. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That's that means a lot to me, man. I'm just trying to just trying to just work in the you know software and man just show something if i can so this is one thing that i like to do i like to use chord sequencer and i like to actually play um and create different chords so i'll hit this learn edit chord hit learn on an empty chord set and then i'm just going to play that first chord first chord that i was playing around with and see what that's called 
so this is a e minor 11 okay cool so e minor 11th there and basically i think what i was essentially doing was just transposing down from there so the next one that we will have was it this one but it can't be that one it can't be that one and we went here the next one will be this one okay so these are minor 11ths that we're playing here minor 11ths because that's e minor 11th now we're in D minor 11th. So we got E minor 11th, D minor 11th. So that would make the next one that I want to play. Let's see. The next one would be this, this, this. And we played that. So it would be. And we just transpose this thing down. I didn't play something right. This, 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 and this, this, this. I guess it is. So this is an E13. Okay, cool. Because if we transpose back up, mm -mm, no. I played this. So I'm transposing something down wrong. Okay, here we go. There we go. D flat minor 11. So these are some nice little chords already, right? Nice little chords. Nice little chords right there. So just minor 11s. And so while we're doing it, why don't we just keep on going down? And then now we land on this C. So this is C minor 11. Yeah, C minor 11th. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And we're pretty much just transposing at this point. We literally just started on our first chord, which was this one this e minor 11 and we just transpose down so what i mean by transposing down is i just literally just move one finger down to the next to the very next note until we arrive at the next one that we want it to play so as we transpose down we're just moving our finger we're just moving our finger down i skipped this one earlier you know what i'm saying so that's what we do right there so that we can um, so that we can transpose and just get those. So uh, right now we pretty much just setting up for all of the minor 11th chords. So, you know, hey, I guess so. Why not? Let's just keep it going. So the last one we did was was uh, should have been this one. That was the last one we did. How about we take it up and go here and then start transposing down again. So our next one would be cool. B minor 11th. Okay. Mm, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. And we're just going to just keep on going like that. So, and, and then I'm going to show you like the format of how everything works with these chords. It's pretty actually pretty interesting actually so the last one we did was this one b flat minor minor 11th okay we're gonna transpose down one more time and boom 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 but that didn't give me what i wanted i went down too many times there we are right there, A11. All right, so now we're halfway through this chord sequencer. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing and, and or at least you can see what's happening inside of the different notes. So let's start with this first one, for example, which was the E minor 11. And it's made up of two chords, essentially. It's made up of two triads is what it's made up of. And then, of course, what you could do after that is you can start to transpose to get different sounds. But the original two chords that it's playing is it's playing an E, let me see, E minor. It's playing this E minor with a D major. So when you put them together, so E minor, D major. And then if we really want it, we could just play the root note, which is E, right? So now we have this E11 sus. 
And it's sus because we've taken away the other notes that are inside of the chord. So we're just playing the E with that D major. So it's like D major over E and we're getting that sound. And then like I said, if you transpose that, if you just do a different voicing, you could get something like that or, you know, you could get some could get something like that because we're just changing the voicing of it now right but we have this e minor with a d major so now guess what if i go to this b flat let's go up if i go to this b flat and i play another triad it's literally like the next triad up that you would play so we have here this b flat and now we have b flat 11. so we have this b this is a b flat major chord B flat major chord and it's playing a it's another major chord so that time it went you know the the formula changed but it's literally just two different chords like two chords I play a lot would be this one and then the C um, so sometimes you can get interesting chords and chord voicings just by playing two chords that you know you can just play them together and see what you get like c major and then you play you know uh let's see like a or something uh let's go up with it okay cool so we got a minor seven and then of course we could do that trick like i just did which was oh we're just gonna play just the root note so now we have that And you know, that's just like using triads with each other. So you can go a major triad with a minor triad, two minor triads, two major triads. Once you learn how to, how to make a triad, then you know you can. So here's one. And I usually play that differently because this would be the chord that I would play. So let me show you again. So here's C minor and uh, A flat, which is, yeah, A flat major. That gives you C minor with the added 13th. Okay. But I would never really play it like that. If I was gonna play it, I would play this, which is part of that. I just took off some notes. I would just play this and then I would add an F. And that's a whole totally different. That's a whole totally different thing. And then one thing I like to do for that chord for sure would be to transpose do different voicings you know do different voicings with it and suddenly you got something that's the same chord but now it doesn't sound like the same chord but it's really the same chord and the thing and i like using chord sequencer because you can see the chords um as you're playing them and figuring them in, and figuring them out excuse me you can actually see the chords so that's super cool. So, so far in this set, I played them a little loud. So we're going to hit this to fixed and we're going to turn down this velocity. Cool. Let's turn it down a little bit. Then let's turn up our humanize and our timing. It's like I played it as a human and then now we just changed it to something totally different, right? All right, cool. I think we need some more chords, but I like, and, and then of course, chord sequencer is going to show you, Hey, this is where you should be moving next. So if I'm on E minor 11, if I hit any of these black ones, you know, these darker colored ones, it's not going to sound as great moving from E minor 11th, but like this bright one, a 11 sounds really good. So there's a no, there's a chord that's missing there and I think it's the one that we're going to go to next essentially. Let's add a bottom. Oh. 
See, now we're getting somewhere. Then I would open up my plugin and then I would make sure to turn on. Uh, see, because I need that. Uh, yeah, I need that tremolo. So all of the aim, let's get, let's continue going, creating our minor 11th chords. Uh, we'll keep making our minor 11th chords here. So what was the last thing I did was this. Do, 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 do. So we stop there. Oh wait, it goes this way. So we stopped here on A. So we'll go ahead and shift down with the triads from A and we'll shift down. Uh, let me see, we got A and looks like G. Yeah, A and G. So yeah, there's our A minor 11. If we transpose it up, we get a different sound. So that's really, you know, really easy because you got just A minor and then G major. So two triads together gives you that sound and just gives it a little, it makes it a little more jazzy, makes it a little more, a little more something, right? Just a little, a little something. All right, so let's keep transposing down. So we're going to go down to a G flat. A flat minor there. And we're going down from here to here. Now, here I go. <laughs> Here's a, I think like the first eight chords I've probably played in some way, shape or form. I've never played this A flat minor 11. I have never played that in my life. So that's something brand new. No, where'd it go? Uh-oh, I never played it before and now it's gone. <laughs> there it is. Cool. Cool. A flat minor 11. Never played it before. All right, let's keep it going. What is this? Oh, is that one? So we go here to here. Boom, boom. From here to here, G minor 11th. All right, speeding it up now a little bit. Catching the rhythm here. We went from there to here. So now we're going from here to here on the next one. Ooh. Keep it going, keep it going. And this transposing stuff is like really fun, man. It just, you just transpose it down. That's all you do. That's, I mean, it's not cheating. It's just music. It's not cheating. It's just music. This is music. Now this is all all eleven chords that we're doing so far. We're at F. I think we're coming back around because we just played. Did we play it? We played that one already. Oh, this one. F minor 11. So that was the last one we just played. I think we're coming back around to the beginning. Yes. There we are. We're back to the beginning at E minor 11. So E, D, D flat, C, E flat, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, back to E. So there we are with those 11th chords. So now I guess, you know, we can do some changing around and things of that nature. So, of course, because, you know, most people said chords is how they start their tracks. I just decided to just do some chords and chord sequencer. And we're just going to jazz this guy up a little bit. Uh, I guess we could finish out the chord set. And, of course, we can um, um, just do some other things in there. And maybe we can throw in some alt. Throw in some alts in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throwing some alts. Oh, I like them. Okay. And then this last one here, because I know that this one leads back to E minor. So if I'm correct, you will see E minor will light up. Oops. Okay. So you will see E minor has lit up from this one. 
Because normally how I would play it, I, you know, I would go boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So we got this, this alt in here. Cool. And those are all the chords. I like these lots of 11 chords. Of course, we could like take some notes off and then make them instead of 11 it's like make them ninths or make them seventh chords. But we got some seven chords in there because we have the alt chords that we were doing G, F, B and B flat and B whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. If you're not into music theory or if you're not into piano or keys and stuff like that, they sound good. All right. They sound good. That's that's what you got to know. That just sounds good. It just that's taking us somewhere, you know, I don't know where we going, but it's definitely taking us there. OK, so, you know, what we could do next is maybe come in here to the echo and um, do some modulation. Raging Oracle. All right, Mr. Frosty Beast finna teach me something new. You know, I don't normally use VSTs. I'm normally only using reason. So screenshotting VSTs. Tell me what, what does that do? All right, let's see. I'm gonna come over here. Screenshot. All right. I screenshotted it. What did it do? Uh, do you mean like saving them? Cause I hit the screenshot. I don't know what that does. Oh, what the heck? Look, I got a picture there now. Wow, this is some new stuff. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. All right, now, now I can see what that VST is. All right, cool. Let's keep dirtying up this, this roads here. Let's keep dirtying it up. Let's Let's add something else to it. I don't think I want to use that. It's going to that's going to get too like too much stuff happening with that. If I if I start using that, it's going to do too much. So let's do a little bit of saturation, not not a whole lot. Let's turn our damage control down. I want to use a body. I want to I want to get in here. I want to get in here to changing these things around on the screen. Let's actually like play something out so I can see what it is. We'll go with this G. That's that's pretty like resolving. Okay, here we go.
So I'm going to do this other thing that I do. I always, uh, I used to, back in the day, I always would have at least two sets of drums. I always would have a like acoustic set. And I usually would use like a, a very similar acoustic set that I always would use. Um, oh, wow. Look, and it saved it the whole way. So I got to start doing that. Let's go into modal bass and let's screenshot that guy too. I hope I don't replace my redrum. And we're gonna slow this guy down too, cause it was like I don't know what I don't know that didn't that didn't that didn't sound the way I wanted it to sound. All right, Rage and Oracle, we'll see you soon. So I'm coming in here to screenshot. All right, cool. So we screenshotted it. Wonderful. Dang, I learned something totally new. Dang, I learned something totally new. I gotta figure out what what is that bass note? What's that bass note? G? So G usually goes to F, C. It is C. Okay, great. I don't want to do that. Uh, that's too simple. It's too simple. Do a little slap bass. Maybe something like that. So I guess we're now we're now we're too slow for the bass line that I'm doing in my head. Boom, da, da, ba, ba, boom, ba, da, da, ba, ba, da, boom, ba, da, ba, ba. Z Pen. <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's good? Still too slow. Boom. I guess it's back to the beginning. Boom. Bop. Bam. Bam. Boom. Boom. Bam. 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 Boom. Bam. 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 Boom. 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 Maybe I should have kept beatboxing it. I was hearing it when I was when I was doing the beatbox. I was I was definitely hearing what I was hearing. Uh check, 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 check. Boom, pop, boom, 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 I, I couldn't say I do this all the time, but
that's probably like the easiest time I've ever like made a baseline up. That is a pretty, that's a pretty decent strategy for making beats. Beatbox it like, cause I can hear it now. I can hear everything I'm trying to play as I'm like playing it. Like I can hear it. Like, I think that that is a good little, I think, you know, I think we can clap it up for that. I think, I think that's a good strategy. I think that's something that somebody out there in the world could probably really use. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it. It's not that high though. Boom. All right, so it worked so well the first time, maybe we do it again, but instead of for the bass, like we do it for something else. Let's do a little quantum.
Bam, 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 bam. Mm, mm, mm. okay so you know all right so so i mean i'm going i'm going like different places with the actual production of it because i, I listen i know i gotta i gotta take a i gotta take a second to actually like speak and, and like say something i know that most people don't want to like hear like jazz funk like i know that that's not what you interested or thinking about hearing I know that I probably could like neo soul this or like lo-fi beat this out and it'll probably like be more appealing to people. So I, I have to recognize that and then say, if it goes one of those ways, just know that it's going that way because it's like, it's part of my process for making beats. That's what we started this live stream on. What's your process for making beats? What do you start with? We started with chords, but the process could change. It could change. Some other people might start with style. They might start and say, I want a beat that is this genre for this artist, for this, you know, those things happen. So I have to just acknowledge that for myself because otherwise then I'll just like really get distracted. So I have to just acknowledge that. But as long as y'all rock with me, man, you know what I'm saying? We're going to make something. We're going to pull something out. Okay, we're going to pull something out of this. And the next thing we need is some percussion. I'm going to try to add this, this, this setup in here real quick. Yeah, see, cause I no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go there just yet. I need some other stuff in here. What was I hearing? I was hearing, I was hearing clavinet, I think is what I was hearing. Um, man, all of these files that I'm trying to load up are like having like the hardest time to load up. Brian Jordan, what's up?
let's cop let's copy the baseline. So that's a little call and response, right? That's like, okay, the piano is saying one thing, clavinet is saying the other thing. So motif and a mode. Let's 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 make that. So it's that it's those staccato notes. Ah, oh, Frosty, man. We'll see you later, man. We see you later, Frosty. Wait, could y'all just? <laughs> Yo, that's so fake. <laughs> Wait, y'all couldn't even hear what I was doing. My bad, y'all. Appreciate you, Frosty Man. Take care, we'll see you. I'm gonna take out them pianos real quick, and then let's boost up. Let's let's beef up this. Uh, I'm gonna just cheat a little bit, and I'm gonna just go in and find my little patches, and I'm gonna. I just want to just make it loud and beefy.
here's a little trick that we was talking about in the last stream. And now I just figured out a way that we could actually use it. So explode, let's use explode so that we can switch between our, um, so we can switch between our regular base and our slap base. Okay. So we're going to use explode right now. We're going to use it on these two clips. And when we hit move, we're going to just see a whole bunch of different notes that pop up. And this is what I was saying. This is why I was saying we could use it for this and it'll make it a lot easier. It's because now we can simply like just take one and like move it there. Right. We could take um, another one and move it here. But I don't want to move that one. So we could just like move different ones. And so that will change which one is being played. So now we're not just getting all regular bass and all regular slap, but we're getting a mix of the two. All right, cool. So that's that. So that really helped with the explode. And of course, I guess another way we could do it is just take the higher notes because with slap, usually what you want to hear with your slap is when the higher notes come in. So, you know, boom, pop, you know, you want to hear that boom, pop, you know, you want to hear that. Um, but that just comes in, you know, how we change these. So we can just move these guys back. Or maybe not. I'll have to undo everything. Jarvis Jennings, appreciate you, man. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate the stream, man. Appreciate you for coming to the stream. I'm just going to fatten this guy up a little bit, add a little attack. Get a little bit of this low shelf going. It's a lot of attack now. We're going to pull down this kick and then add some distortion. And then for the master, there's like a master compressor. I like to change this pitch. Thank you. 
do that on the hi-hat real quick so I'm not just playing crazy stuff. Play that in. Get that going. Okay, now I also want to bump, 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 bump. Get up now and get on up. Get up now and get on up and just stay on the scene. Get on up. I want another one of these um, roads without all of the extra stuff that I added to it. change this setting over here it's uh the velocity change is at a hundred percent which means like it's just doing a lot of changing that's way too much okay i only need about maybe 25 percent. and actually like this pitch i actually like changing that too so we just change just a little bit on the pitch Let's uh, shorten up that snare. Deaden up that kick too. Let's uh let's go just drum and bass real quick and lock it in. But I only wanted that, but let me see.
I like the cleanness of those different instruments. It's pretty clean, you know, it's just pretty clean. this one. Edit chord, give me that low G, give me that low G in there. Oh, because I have to change it on both of these. That's why. Let's change this. Let's move this one to there instead. Let's move this C down. Oh, edit chord. Move that C down to that one.
I think I think mold and, and motif has been established. Um, let's call this mold and motif just because that's what's in my head right now. Um, but now it's like uh, it's, it's, it needs that something that's going to gel it. It's not really gelled. Like, say, for example, if we took that and then we take out these claps, we could do a solo. Let me take out the strings as well. So that could be like solo if we took that stuff out, right? So we can do like piano solo there. So let's do that right now. Just the first part is like, okay, I'll take that. Let's fix that. Let's add one right here. What is that? Like right there-ish? Ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum. Just that. So that would be like solo part, right? But now it's like, what goes here? Like, is it horns? Is it horns that go? Okay, so now my brain is like doing the brain thing that it needs. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Oh, look at my face is frozen. <laughs> hey, yo, whatever, man. I wanted to come back and put the face up. <sighs> but now my brain is doing the thing, right? So when it comes to like that production style, like now, now if, it's, if it was like, all right, what did we start with? We started with chords. And then we built on the chords with melodies and then we built upon this. So now it's like the structure part. Now it's the something else part in our poll. Chords still leading the poll with 40%. 40% of you guys are choosing uh, are choosing that as what you would start with. Okay, I'm, I'm getting ready to fix my look right here. It's coming in three, two, one. Wait, I pressed the wrong button in three, two, one. There I am, I'm back. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so 20%, 20%, 40% are saying they lead with chords when it comes to their music production. 25% melody, 30% drums. So drums is the second place in what they start with. And I think that that's the difference between like what you're trying to accomplish with your production. Cause like, of course, like if I started, if I started, if I started this with, wait, not that one. If I started with drums and did something like that, this sounds totally different. We're not even going down this jazzy, funky route at all because the drums is feeding into what this is going to be. But because we started with chords and we started with these super lush A minor 11 chords, because we started with these chords, it sent us down this path. So I think that that's, that could be the difference and like what happens with your music production. Of course, we definitely didn't set an intention. And I always encourage people to set an intention with your music productions. Cause now I'm like, I have this, but it's like, what is this for? What What is this for, Chris? What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with this? I mean, I don't know, but you know, I think it sounds kind of, you know, cool, jazzy. <laughs>
So now I'm going to find the thing that's creating this sound to change and we're going to just it's something in there that's making that secondary sound that I don't like. There we go. That's all. I like that. That little whispery sound there. Maybe we add some more reverb to that. Of course, y'all can't see what I'm talking about because I didn't change the screen altogether. So y'all couldn't even see. It's a Thor patch screeching spirits within. So maybe we take those chords, maybe we take those chords and we send those chords out. And now because we sent those chords out, we can just add those chords to, uh, we can add those chords to the screeching within spirits. See, now that's something different. Why do I keep doing that snare? I don't want that snare. I like that screeching spirits within. That's that's a crazy sound right there. So then, we, but we would we would even shorten we would shorten these chords so it's not like the whole thing all the way through, and probably drop them down. So we probably would do like. Get ready to. Maybe exaggerate. Ooh. Maybe exaggerate it. I think it's the. It's whatever that is. Whatever is that. That's a song starter. That's a song starter right there. Let me see if I quantize it. Will it still give me that sound? It does. So what's happening is I need to drop all of these down so we can have that second bass note. Maybe even lower. I think we're gonna go there right now though. I think we're gonna stay with something else. Cause that's not that at all. What a nice little patch. You're welcome. Screeching spirits in the Thor. Strings and voice, you're welcome. cheat and just do string
one second. Welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. some stuff I really liked. So really it was just that. keys what's good man what's good man welcome to the stream welcome to the stream i mean is there something else that we could do all of these drums right here midi bro i thought this was a sample some stuff i like about it and then like what else can we do alan montgomery <laughs> welcome 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 to the stream welcome to the stream <laughs> we could do a lot of different stuff with this because i got this going kind of like I got this kind of just going like kind of just, you know, different, but we could like really, we could do something else because what if we come in here and do, do they have upright bass or they do? Um, 
let's let's go like Erica Badu it. Let's let's Erica Badu it real quick. Slower, slower. But now I don't like that rim. Can I get a rim shot? Cause I don't like none of these rim shots. Can I get a rim shot? And then turn all this down. Just give me just this, just a kick drum in its simplest essence. Gotta find that. slow it down simpler yeah it got a gel it got a gel together so that's not gelling together so yeah I liked how it was gelling before but now we got to speed this thing back up a little funky vibe That could be it. Mm, is it transport? I can't even remember what I played. Okay, so it's ending on A. This one, D. Oh. Oh. 
oh, okay, so oh, oh, I see what we did. I just did it. missing a note oh we moved it we moved it is this the one we moved to see it is got you so it's oh. just trying to get the chords for for the piano so because I, I use chord sequencer so even though I made the chords, like I created the chords, y'all go back to the beginning of the stream, you'll see. So I made the chords, but then I used chord sequencer to play it easier. And then I started just doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So we go. I know it's that. That would be it, but that's not what we're playing on that last C. We're playing something different. It's a C. What is this? C. Oh. Oh. Got you. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. All right. So here's the chord progression. Here we go. It goes. Mm, 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 mm. with those chords man could do a lot with those chords
I wasn't ready. I wasn't even recording. Okay, here we go. One more time. some practice with those these are some new chords oh, I keep pressing my F buttons so I win and then Next chord. What is this? It's this. This. I keep praying. I keep pressing the wrong chord. And that them toms and these. What's something happened? What happened? Did I change something with these drums? These things is just all over the place now. Give 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 me something to tighten this thing up. Give me give me a little bit of this compression or something. Turn these down. Rick Towers, what's good? Kimon McGrath, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate y'all for coming through. I'm trying to lay these chords down on this piano. So this is just different voicings. Same chord, but just different voicings, right? We're going to do that right now. We're going to do it. Then I stop right there on that chord. This. There we go. Cool. Just do some different little voices right there. But I want to bring in that that horn that we had grabbed. Maybe even do something with that upright bass.
Uh, oh, hit the save button. I don't know if that's been saved or not. Let's add in these. Uh, yeah, let's change up our bass just for this little section right here. Might even change up them drums. Might even change these uh, these these snares to rims. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Why am I not recording? Why is it not recording? Badum, badum. Let's do that again. y'all right, so uh thank you guys for joining our stream like i said before the live stream how it is happening right now is pretty much like it's the best way i can get in to do some music to do some production the last couple live streams that we've been doing i've been doing a lot of talking and a lot of like well actually like last stream we actually listened to other people's music so that was really dope to be able to hear the subscribers and those that support this channel to give back and support them and listen to their music so that was super dope um but i haven't been able to make any music at all so i wanted to take this time to kind of just work on some stuff and this is what we you know kind of created today still a lot of form formatting to do still a lot of structuring to do that we can do to perfect this of course you know it's just some bones right now but even if we took out drums and maybe just dropped it as a sample that would be super cool too so mike could also just use this as a loop without the drums Just like something like that. Like, okay, yeah, y'all take that. Y'all take that audio, sample flip, remix that, do that. That was live. I didn't even get to record the trumpet. I just started playing it. Do that, man. Have fun with that. Uh, if you so please. If not, you know, it's all good. I probably will drop it as some kind of a sample pack or something. I don't know. Maybe some people can flip that. You drop some 
drop some L Dre lo fi hip hop drums in that, and you got yourself, you know, a nice little lo fi track, right? You know, just do some little tweaking to that. But of course, at this time, man, I'm actually got to go. I got some other things that I got to do and handle, but I enjoyed every second of being able to be on this live stream. And we're just going to, you know, just leave you guys with this, and then just hopefully it helps you with something in your music production. 38% is the winning vote for the chords being the best way or not best way, but just how you tend to start your music production is pretty much how I tend to get my most creative feelings going as well as with chords. Uh, just starting with chords is one of the ways that I get inspired as well. Even if I'm like at Guitar Center or something like that and I just start playing chords i get i get ready to go back home and start making some beats but i appreciate everybody that came through the stream raging oracle rick towers kimon mcrath a major keys what's up dog alan montgomery don second z pan jr jarvis jennings mr frosty beast brian jordan i appreciate all of you for coming through dj steez as well coming through to the stream and i will catch you guys on the next one be sure to look out for an upcoming videos just dropped a reason studios video if you haven't checked that out go check that out on the reason studios page all about 808s and creating 808s tuning 808s stuff like that so dropping videos on reason studios and of course we have the a to z playlist if you have not checked that out i'm sure that there's some gems in there that will help you with your music production and with that being said i gotta check out so i will catch you guys on the next one until next time peace